Hi loves, I wanted to welcome you back to my channel. I am Halicia, but I go by Lee, and this is a new in luxury haul. So everything that I picked up under the luxury category in 2021. Why was I about to say 2020? I feel like we just skipped that whole year, but so essentially the first quarter of the year, the products that I have picked up that I would consider luxury, to me luxury is quality, extremely high quality like items that are going to last you forever and you know slightly inflated prices that is what i consider luxury i don't mind spending money on luxury if the quality is there because that's all i really care about is really really good quality items that will last me a lifetime so first up is this hat by infinity headwear and this particular hat is like a wash denim. It has blessed on it and blessed is embroidered and it's almost like over dyed. This is a high quality hat. I always feel like you need good hats to kind of rotate in your wardrobe. And for one, denim to me is like a staple because it literally matches everything. Plus I am blessed. The blessed does have like these pastel shades, which is great for like the springtime. But what's really dope is that the inside of the hat almost has this really retro colorful print. Of course it has an adjustable strap. And this is the type of thing that I typically wear anytime my hair is pulled back, like in the style that it is now, or if I have braids, if I'm going to the beach or anywhere tropical, if I'm traveling, if I'm just running errands, a hat is where it's at because you can literally just pop it on and then boom, I'm good to go. And it's so cute. It elevates the look. And now just imagine this with some sunglasses. So I have my Desi sunglasses because I need to give you guys the entire look so you can catch the vibe. Boom, boom, and we need a bag boom she's giving luxury she's giving vibes she's giving quality and that's what I like about certain things like this so as I expand my hat collection I definitely wanted to add a fitted hat to the collection because that was kind of like the only thing that I was missing and in terms of fitted hats I just figured denim would be the most versatile and then I love the little message and the quality. You can adjust the fit. It's just everything to me. So I'm definitely gonna leave every item linked below. So if you wanna check out Infinity Headwear, everything will be left in the description bar. And shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. Please check out their hats linked below. So moving on to the very next item. This was kind of like the first item that I purchased at the beginning of 2020 it is this gucci vanity case it is from the marmite collection this is legit a vanity bag so it's made specifically for makeup or like toiletries things like that but i do carry it as a handbag it has a mirror in the inside and then it has almost like they're not full-on pockets but you know you can slide things in them and they will hold them in place i love this as a bag as an actual handbag i actually wanted the louis vuitton vanity pm but in terms of cost this one was much better and it did what i needed it to do it is black leather and i actually came across this at tj maxx and i purchased it it did come with the box Typically when you buy bags from TJ Maxx, they do not come with a box. Mine came with a box and a dust bag and it was around, or not around, it was $6.50. And of course it came with like all of the authentic Gucci tags or whatnot. They had, the that day that I went to TJ Maxx, they had Bottega, Valentino, Balenciaga, and maybe like two other brands but this bag i guess like best fit the luxury bag that i already had on my wish list and it was legit like a third of the price so i was like you know what this is coming home it's the perfect size for me it fits everything i am a top handle and crossbody bag girl so i was like you know what 
I'm here for it for 650. It's coming home. So since we're kind of already in like the Gucci realm because we've been talking about Gucci, Gucci is one of my top, I would say it's like top two, honestly, in terms of luxury items. I absolutely love Gucci. It's just something about them that's really different. So in watching Monroe Steel and High Low Lux, I was convinced to place an order on Gucci. I actually just placed this. This box came maybe like four days ago. And I just ordered it online. These are shoes. So I got a 37 true to size. And these are kind of like your, your summer shoes. I am not like a slide sandal type of girl. But if I do wear a slide or a sandal, I need a platform. Like I just don't like flat shoes which is why i typically go for sneakers or heels and then there's like no in between so when they were posting about these i was like oh i really like them but i didn't want something that everyone else had so i opted for i don't even know what these are called these are the heritage gg lame and silver and beige and so they look like this hopefully the light isn't washing them out but they are full-on silver i don't own any silver shoes either and so i love like the nude color and the silver thought it was different for my wardrobe these were about the same price oh they were actually cheaper than the bag but yeah they came like this these are super cute i will show a cutaway and of course they came with the dust bag all of the fixings in the box they're not placed neatly in this box by any means because they are coming out because I plan on taking them on my next trip. But I definitely wanted to share this in this particular haul. Because these shoes are bomb. They're sliding, easy on, easy off. And they give me the height that I need. Because they are a platform shoe. Next up is this baby. I actually think that I got it around the same time as my Gucci bag. And this is by Jacquemus. I think that's how you say it. Our Jacques, Jacquemus, I don't know. But either way go, I love, that. that is slowly like moving up. To me it's kind of like, it's very ready to wear but it's still luxury. So I picked up this mini bag and this olive suede because it's a neutral. This matches like 50% of the items that I have in my wardrobe. It does have a crossbody strap and a handle and yes it is small this one is the mini i want to say there's one that's smaller than this but then there's two of them that are larger than this i guess you could say so they do go larger the crossbody strap does detach and it does have a pocket in the back so i'll typically keep like some petty cash or like my dr card or something in the back it does fit my phone and like lip gloss and maybe like keys it doesn't fit much though so i do keep the strap kind of tucked in and yeah that's the inside of the bag the inside has no pockets and then there's like a little magnetic clasp that makes it super easy but i typically i wear this actually more often than i thought i was and i think that this bag was like four 50 480 or something like that so and it comes in a ton of different colors there's actually a pink one that's almost like this color pink that i am debating on so if you guys think i should get that one then definitely comment below i'll pop a picture on the screen of that one but i am seriously seriously on the fence about grabbing it because i think it's so cute and i love the pop of color for the upcoming season this bag was gifted to me by brahmin thank you brahmin so much this is dope they did allow me to pick out bags from their new collection and then out of the picks that i chose they just pick one and they sent it to me i don't know why but this reminds me of a birkin so it does come like this this bag is kind of large for my taste but i think that it's also the perfect size for me and it's like this embossed croc it's also leather and it is this beautiful like teal turquoise color it does have a pocket in the back for you know like easy access it also does come with 
crossbody straps. It has a zipper on it. So it zips closed. Here's the strap. I haven't worn this bag yet because I literally just got it. It came with a dust bag and all of those goodies. And then in the inside, there's a zip pocket. There's also a key attachment so you won't lose your keys. And then there's some other compartments on the other side for very easy storage. But what I think is the best about this bag is the foot. So they have like the metal footing Anytime I see that on a bag, I pretty much know that it's a luxury and I love that aspect. But you can also take the sides of the bag and flip them out. So if the sides of the bag are flipped out like so, you can wear this as whatever way you want. It kind of gives like Celine vibes. Brahmin is a luxury brand either way it goes, but I do love the versatility in the bag and how you can change it to essentially fit your style or even fit more items but this bag is pretty large so you should have more than enough space in this bag i can't wait to wear this bag either i need some looks for this bag because when this bag goes out it's going to turn heads now right after i got this bag from brahmin brahmin actually sent me this okay so this is a wine holder or like alcohol bottle holding carrying case but i feel like this could still be rocked as a bag like it could it is yellow this is so pretty croc embossed leather it does have the brahmin tag on it right here and this at the top it just is a like a magnetic closure and inside there's a bottle of rosé Pinot Noir Rosé, Estate Grown 2019. So I thought that that was really sweet that this kind of like popped in. And although I would use this to carry alcohol, I would also use it as a literal handbag just because the shape is so unique. And I bet you if I wore this out as a handbag, people would be all in my face like, girl, where you get that from? What is that? And I'd be like, it's Brahmin. So shout out to them. These are amazing. Make sure that you guys check out their new collections because they're dropping heat. We're almost done and I'm sad about it. The last bag that I'm going to share is from a brand called Myrta. It is, this bag was handmade in Spain. I'm pretty sure that the company is based out of Spain. So it does come in this beautiful luxury box like almost all luxury bags do. And I already posted this bag on my Instagram, so definitely follow me on Instagram at I know Lee if you guys want to know any additional information about this bag or see like close-up pictures. But when I show y'all this bag, when I show you this bag though, I got on their website and I was like, you kidding me, right? Like I've never seen anything like this. So it did come with all of the fixings, you know, you have your dust bag. You have all the paperwork that always comes with luxury items, you know, how to care for it, all of that, how it's made, but this is the bag. When I saw it, it to me it reminds me of an armadillo, but in a good way. Um, it's a popular animal in Texas, okay? I think it's actually like our state animal or something like that, but it's beautiful. This is like a... It's brown, but it's almost like terracotta. That is the shade of it, but just like a little bit deeper. And this is how the bag opens. Is it this side? Yeah. So on this side, you kind of pull this down and then it creates an accordion opening. Tell me that isn't fire. This is hand made and you can tell, even though I like I own a Gucci, Gucci bags, I own one or two Louis. Um, the quality of this bag, and I'm going to be very honest about it. The quality of this bag is better than my Gucci and Louis. That's a hard pill to swallow. And the price is a fraction of it. It's still, you know, on the higher end. But 
it had i don't think that this bag cost uh, more than a thousand dollars i'm like pretty sure they did give me this bag but the quality is better and that's what i'm here for and then i also love how unique it is so i'm take the stuffing out because I've been taking really good care of it. There are no compartments in the inside. It's just open. But this does fit quite a bit of stuff because you can use the entire circle. And then there is a tag in the inside that says Myrta. And then there's almost like a luggage tag on the side with um, the brand. And they started this brand in 1955. You know the quality is there when the brand has been along that long. So this kind of covers and then you have an adjustable strap you can take the crossbody strap off and just rock this as a clutch but i just think it would be kind of hard to carry because it's so circular um but it could be a vibe like it could definitely be a vibe if i got a really heavy detachable chain i would probably take the leather strap off and put like a gold chain on it to give it more of like an evening look but to me this is like day-to-day -day luxury this is a beautiful bag so i'm definitely gonna leave them linked down below because they have so many beautiful bags on their site and the quality it's the quality for me so love that is it for my luxury haul i do have on some new jewelry pieces they are from Ed Blad and Cinco. So I'm definitely going to leave all of them linked below because I have them layered. Like this one is Ed Blad, this one is Cinco. And these are all either gold plated or like sterling silver that's plated or like brass that is plated. Things that won't like irritate your skin or turn you green or you know leave marks and things because i just can't wear jewelry like that i noticed that with my fashionable jewelry it still has to be like luxury fashionable jewelry you know how, kind of like how christian dior or like gucci will make jewelry that's not like solid gold or silver it'll be plated this to me is the same concept not as expensive it still costs some money but not as expensive but that's going to last you a long time that will maintain so i'm definitely going to leave that link below because i have beautiful rings from them like this two-tone ring that i'm in love with because it's silver and gold so i can mix my metals this ring with the ridges this ring that's legit a rope this ring is a circle but it's like encrusted with rhinestones i love this these necklaces these earrings so i'm gonna leave all of that down below if you guys are interested in kind of like elevated fashion jewelry linked below i also do close-ups of all of this but that is it i do have quite a few new sneakers so if you guys are interested in a sneaker haul then i can definitely create that for you make sure that you check the description bar below for a list of every item that I've shown you along with the links and I would appreciate it if you use the links that I provide because they do provide me with a very small commission I'll take it all I love you guys make sure that you subscribe like and comment on this video let me know if I should get that pink Jacquemus bag because I'm contemplating it I really am let me know in the comments below. And I will see you loves in my next video. Bye. Where we about to eat at? <laughs> Bye guys.